Hi, welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to solve question 19 from KCSE 2018 past paper. So question uh, 19 is about differentiation. Uh, we're told the distance covered by a moving particle through point O is given by the equation S equals T cubed minus 15T squared plus 63T minus 10. We are asked to find the distance covered when t is equal to 2. So all you have to do is just use the equation that you are given. You are told so when t equals 2, s is going to be equal. Well, we are going to apply that formula. So t cubed, instead of t, we are going to have 2. So 2 cubed minus 15, 2 squared plus 63, uh, 2 minus 10. If you work this out, you will get 64 units. And now for B, we are asked to find the distance covered during the third second. So um, there might be a tendency to just put um, t equals 1 and find the distance. That's not how the equation is applied. So you have to find the distance for the whole 3 seconds and then take away from the 2 seconds. Okay, so we need to find S when T is equal to 3. So S is going to be equal to, uh, so this time it's 3, the same equation, minus 15, 3 squared, plus 63, 2, take away 10. And if you work this out, you will get 71 uh, units. So... This is for the whole of three seconds. What we want is during the three, the third second. So S uh, during the third second is going to be equal to 71. Take away the two seconds, which is 64, uh, and this will give us seven units. Okay, and now for C, we're asked to find time when the particle is momentarily at rest. So moment, momentarily at rest, it means it's not moving. This means speed is equal to zero. Now we need to use this information to find time. Now what do you know that connects time and speed? Where is distance, time and speed? So we can use the formula for speed. Uh, we've got distance as a is a function so t cubed minus 15 t squared plus 63 t minus 10 so to get speed we need to differentiate with respect to time so we can do ds dt and this will give you 3 t squared minus this will give you 30 t and 63 t will just give you 63 and this will just give you a zero. Okay, so this object is at rest. It means the speed is equal to zero. So now we can make 3t squared minus 30t plus 63 equals to zero. Now all these terms are divisible by 3. So I'm going to make this equation uh, simpler. So I'm going to divide by 3 throughout. So this will give you t squared minus 10t plus 21 equals to zero. So I need to factorize. I'm going to take the 21 and then see if I can get two numbers that multiply to get 21. But if you add or subtract, you get negative 10. So definitely seven and three will work because seven times three is 21. But I need to get a negative 10. So these must be negative seven and negative three. And if you multiply these together, you will still get a positive 21. So inside my bracket, I have t minus 7. It doesn't matter which bracket comes first. t minus 3 equals to 0. So if you take the first bracket and make it equal to 0, then you get t equals to 7. And t minus 3 equals to 0. That's the second bracket. Therefore, t is equal to 3. So what we have here, we have... Uh, this object is at rest when t is equal to 3 
and also when t is equal to 7. But actually you can see it is a cubic function so you are going to get some sort of like this graph. Uh, so it's going to be going up, let's say it's a ball, and then going, coming down and then bouncing maybe when it hits the ground. So it will stop at this point, it will be at rest. Okay, so that is for C. And now for D, we are asked to find the acceleration when t is equal to zero. So uh, acceleration is speed over time. So we, what we need to do is just differentiate the function for speed, which we have. So we have ds dt equals to 3t squared minus 30 plus 63. And that's from this one here. Now, if we differentiate this with respect to time, so our second differentiation, we get d2s over dt squared. So this is your acceleration now. Uh, and if you differentiate this 3t squared, you will get 6t. And this will just give you 30. So when t is equal to 5, then a is going to be equal to 6 times 5 minus 30, which is going to be equal to 0. So acceleration is equal to 0. This does not mean the object is not moving. It just means the object is moving at constant speed. So just for extra information, the object is moving at constant speed. Okay, so that is for that. Thank you for watching and please press like if you like this video and subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Bye for now.